I want us to, 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 to look at how you deal with a, 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 a fraction. For example, f of x is equal to 1 over x. Find the derivative using the first principles. First thing, the formula. f of x prime is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h first minus f of x. This is all over h. It's the same story all over again. Wherever there is x, we push in x plus h. Once we are done, we are going to subtract f of x, which is that one. Let's do this thing. So our f of x prime then will be equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Where there is x, we push in x plus h. Uh, it's going to be 1 over where there's x, follow x plus h. We're done. Then we subtract f of x, which is 1 over x. That's what we have. This is all over. This is all divided by h. All right. I want us to go further. Adding and sub subtraction of fractions, you've got to look for the LCD. So this will be the limit as h approaches 0 uh, this will be let, let, let me look for the LCD here I see x plus h I'm taking both and that x others will have this x squared plus xh it's one it's one of the same thing uh, this is, remember this is h over 1. So if I change this sign to be times, it will be 1 over h. Right, remember that principle, it's important. Let's work this sign. This into here, it will cancel this, it will be left with x times that one, it will be x. Minus. This into this one, uh, it will go with this one and it will be left with uh, x plus h. That's what we have. Let's work it out. Uh, this then will be the limit as h approaches 0. We've got that x minus x. This times that, then it's minus h all over. We've got this one. Uh, let's write it as x squared. Let's have it as this times that, it is x squared, this times this, it's plus xh. Right, that's why we have this side. This is multiplied by 1 over h. That's what we have. Okay, let, let's continue. Uh, x minus x, it's nothing. We are left with the limit as h approaches 0. We are left with this minus h, right, over this one, which is x squared plus xh times 1 over h. That's what we have. Mm. I can see that this h can go with that h. I'm left with minus 1 on my numerator. Let me continue from here. Uh, this then becomes the limit as h approaches 0. So you've got minus 1 over x squared plus xh. x squared plus xh. This is what we have. But h tends to 0. But h tends to 0. Where there is h, we're pushing 0. Therefore, my f of x prime will be equals to, if we push in 0 here, this will go. We'll be left with minus 1 over x squared. This is how you go about dealing with those that are fraction. It is mainly about your grade 8, where you know how to add or subtract fractions, taking out the lowest common denominator. 
Right, let's look at the last one. I think we've done much exercises now on the first principles, except we've not taken something which is uh, to the power 3 or cubic. Uh, how do you deal with this one? It is important that you must know how to cube something. Uh, f of x prime is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Copying the formula correct, it's a mark. Let's do this thing. What must be the answer that we must get here? We should get an answer of 3x squared. This is what we must get at the end of the day. Let's work it out. Uh, my f of x prime is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 where there is x, I'm pushing in x plus h. So it's going to be x plus h all cubed. I'm done with x plus h. I'm subtracting f of x. What is my f of x in this case? It is x cubed. This is all over h. That's the most important step. Let's move on. How do you deal with this one? There are a few steps that you need to follow. The limit as h approaches 0, we say x times x times x, which will give us x cubed. Step number 2, it's x times x times h and times 3. So it's going to be x times x times h, this will give us 3x squared h. The next step, we'll do this twice. Remember in this one, we said x times x then h. Now we're going to do this twice. It's going to be x times h times h times 3. It's going to give us 3x then h squared. Then the last step, it's going to be h times h times h, which will give us h cubed. Right. After this, you subtract your x cubed. This is all over h. What was important here, you must know how to cube that. And this becomes the limit as h approaches 0. Let's see. x cubed minus x cubed will give us 0. We're left with how many terms now? 1, 2, 3 terms. This is my target. So if I can find h in each of those three, I can take it out as a common factor, even though there are other factors, but h is my target. If I take out h there, I'll be left with 3x squared, divide this by h, it will be 3xh, divided by h, it will be h squared. This is all over h. That's what we have. Ah, this is exactly what I want. This is the situation I wanted, where these two will divide. But, h approaches 0. Where there is h, you push in 0. Therefore, uh, f of x prime will be, if you push in 0 here, we'll have 0 there. If you push in 0 here, we'll have 0 there. And we'll be left with uh, 3 x squared. This is the final answer. Exactly as, it, as you said it, it would be. Now I, I want us to rem, rem, remind ourselves on how do we move from that step to this step. Step number one, you multiply the first term by itself three times. Step number two, you multiply the first term by itself, then you multiply it with the second term, then you multiply that by three. Step number three, you multiply this once, it says it's x, then you multiply this twice, so this will be h squared, then times three. It will give us three h squared. Then the last step, you multiply this by itself three times. h times h times h, it will give us h cubed. You don't have to open x plus h into x plus h into x plus h as if you're doing great aid. Just do this by inspection. So when it comes to first principle, practice this and pra also practice squaring a binomial. Remember, if you've got things like x plus 2, x plus 2 all squared, you must be able to do it x times x, it's x squared, 
x times 2, 2x, two double that, it is 4x, then 2 plus 2 times 2, it is 4. So this becomes important. So whenever you do first principle, you should know that, that exactly you'll find with x plus h all squared. You must be able to do these things by inspection. x times x, it is x squared. x times h, it is xh times 2, it is 2xh. Then the last step, h times h, it is h squared. I repeat, you multiply the first term by the first term, you write your answer. Step number two, you multiply the first term by the second term and double your answer. Step number three, you multiply the second term by the second term. Thank you.